you ever find yourself questioning why do all these productivity tips work for everyone else but just not me and you try really really hard but it just won't work and you might have even caught yourself thinking am i just being lazy or am i stupid if this sounds like you you really need to watch this video because the truth is there might be a reason that explains all of this you're not the problem what you might actually have is adhd adhd is a condition that is often overlooked in adults research shows that there are 20 percent of adults with adhd that are currently undiagnosed because of this many of us end up blaming ourselves thinking we don't have the willpower we're the problem we're lazy but this is far from the truth the truth is, almost all of those productivity advice that you consume from books, YouTube channels, podcasts, they are toxic to your ADHD brain. And these are the reasons why, according to the DSM-5 criteria. Number one, everyone's brain processes information very differently. And therefore, there is no one-size-fit-all solution for everyone. And this is especially true for neurodivergence and those with ADHD. Our brains are physically wired differently. And there are even research that suggests that your prefrontal cortex, your basal ganglia, cerebellum, can look quite different to neurotypical brains. And since these productivity tips are designed for neurotypical brains, that's why you had to try 10 times as hard as your friend to complete the same task. But don't worry, I will share with you 5 tips that are backed by research and tailored just for ADHD brains. These methods will work far better than any other productivity advice you've consumed so far. Hey, if you learned something new in this video, make sure you've hit that thumbs up for me. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where there's so many assignments and homeworks that you haven't done even before the due date? This isn't because you're lazy or lack willpower to do them. This is because people with ADHD have some disruption in their dopamine pathway and this limits the brain's ability to perceive long-term rewards and complete necessary tasks. What motivates you is different from neurotypical brains. Brains with ADHD seek a lot of dopamine boost. Because of this, your brain gets motivated by novelty and stimulation. That's probably why you find yourself avoiding repetitive and boring tasks like studying and working. So even though finishing this assignment, this little homework is important for your overall final grade, your brain will much rather learn about the newest AI tools that's far more interesting and stimulating for your brain. Now, so far, if all of those things that I talked about sound a lot like you and you think you might have ADHD, please go seek some medical advice. Most productivity tips actually assume that you already have the ability to manage your time really well and prioritize lots of different things on your plate. But you see, the biggest hallmark of ADHD is executive dysfunction. Now, this is precisely the cognitive function that is involved with planning, prioritizing, and decision making. It's no wonder that these productivity tips don't work. I don't want you to fall into the trap of thinking that having ADHD is all bad because it really is. There's so many positive traits that you have that neurotypicals just don't. It's a matter of using these differences as your advantage and turn them into your superpowers. As promised, these are the five productivity tips that are tailored for brains with ADHD. Tip number one, double down on your hyperfocus ability. Research shows that some people with ADHD have this crazy ability to hyperfocus. And it's especially true if it's a subject that you are passionate in or very interested in. I often hear people say that they leave work to last minute because diamonds are made under pressure. Does that sound familiar? Is that you? Let me know in the comments below. Literally, I have a lot of doctor friends who like to leave things till the last day of the assignment being due and they're able to hyper focus and get a shit ton done that day. Whereas me, I would have been chipping away at that project for one whole week. I'm just literally in awe how you guys can just sit there and hyper focus for such a long period of time and also get so much done before the due date. I would literally just crack under pressure and give up. Accept and embrace that consistency may not be your strength, but you have the ability to harness deep focus and get a lot done under immense pressure. This is a great skill to have when you are learning something new because you can learn a lot and very fast. I know that James Clear and Atomic Habits advise that you get better at things 1% at a time consistently over a duration of time. But you can also choose to get better at a skill 2000% at a time in a short period of time. It's just that this doesn't work for most people. That's why it's not preached. But it can work for you. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Tip number two is to make everything boring really fun. Living with ADHD often means that you already have a different perspective on how things work compared to how it's traditionally done. Studies also suggest that people with ADHD have a lot more creativity. You're just better problem solvers because you're always coming up with creative and new ways to do things. Now I've got a few examples that are pretty practical to spice up your study routine. Number one is to use flashcards to study. It feels kind of like a bit of a mini game and it can get pretty competitive. The second one is to set time limits so how quickly you can finish a task. What's a creative way that you get work done? Let me know in the comments below. Besides keeping things fun, another way to keep your brain really active and stimulated is to change what you're doing. This could be very simple. It could be changing your study location, changing your study method, just changing the way you usually do things. Have a cold shower if you never tried that before.
Now we know that the ADHD brain is motivated by dopamine boosts. So what this means is that you should introduce short-term rewards, competition, and lots of pressure. These are the essential ingredients to make any ADHD brain very happy. And this is why Pomodoro method works really, really well for completing any task. I was introduced this Pomodoro method in my second year of medical school by one of my juniors called Susie. I really owe this to her. Pomodoro method is really just setting a time for how much you're going to spend to get a task done. It could be 25 minutes, it could be one hour. Then you get a small break in between and then you're back at it again. This can work really well with ADHD because even if you've only committed 25 minutes to start off with, that is more than enough for you to get the momentum rolling and get into flow state. You keep doing multiple Pomodoro sessions and voila, suddenly four hours have passed and you've completed the assignment that you didn't even want to start anyway. Here is a bonus tip by the way, you should do this with someone else too. I shared one timer with Susie and oh my gosh, it was really intense and I got a whole lot done. Now this leads to tip number five, which is to find an accountability partner. Having an accountability partner is sort of just having someone constantly looking behind your shoulders to keep you on track because if you don't, they're going to judge you hard. If you can't find a study buddy, that's totally fine too. The alternative is that you can find a place to study with lots and lots of people like cafes or libraries because that way you still feel like you need to get your work done or else the people around you who are studying are going to judge you for scrolling or playing games in the library. Those watchful eyes can be your best accountability. Watch this video next if you want to learn practical tips on how to focus better.